now we are bringing to bear all these novel, much more data-driven and AI technologies and trying to figure out how do you, when is physics better, when is AI better, is this point of, of major debate in the community. Let's look at this from um, the perspective of the virus functions that are operated within the industry. So the discovery process, the drilling, the transportation, refinery, and then the distribution. Mm -hmm. What problems can AI solve in these different sectors of the oil and gas industry? AI can solve problems across the entire value chain that you described. I spent more of my time in upstream, so I'll talk a bit more about upstream, but you know, there's opportunities in midstream in, you know, in the movement of product through yeah. pipes, be it oil or gas. We need, uh, we need to define, I think, what upstream, midstream, and, and downstream mean. It's pretty straightforward. Upstream is the exploration and production of hydrocarbon products, so oil and gas, getting them out of the ground. Midstream is then moving that product from the well pad or the well site to where it's produced, to wherever it's going to go, be it storage, be it uh, an oil uh, hydrocarbon product going to a refinery or a gas going to a, a plant of some type. That's midstream is the movement of the product and that includes LNG, liquefied natural gas. And then downstream is the refining of that product uh, into refined petroleum products that we all use every day, uh, petrochemicals and product to use in our, our cars and trucks. So in the upstream context, subsurface, uh, understanding below ground, what's down there, um, where are the best places to drill, and then where exactly do I target within that? There's a lot of need for better technology uh, and, and AI in particular there, and there's some companies doing some very interesting things. One company is calling Data Physics, uh, which is really integrating um, some very physics-driven models, uh, which is what people traditionally use across all of energy and industrials. This concept of physics, you'll hear me say it a lot. The physics is really how you, you characterize, you diagnose, you capture the application expertise of all the different working systems across all of energy and industrials. Um, all of these mechanical or electromechanical systems, they all have physics that represent how they work. And that's traditionally how industry has operated. Uh, but now we are bringing to bear all these novel, much more data-driven and AI technologies and trying to figure out how do you, when is physics better, when is AI better, um, is this point of, of major debate in the community. The reality is that in most cases, the answer is using both of them together in tandem to work together is really the right answer. Back in the old days, when there was no fracking, where to drill was where there is a lot of oil. Now, in the new days, I guess, where to drill is the place where it's the most optimized that, that using the fracking, then you're going to get the most flow of, of uh, right. hydrocarbons. Exactly so what right. Is, what is needed, basically? It's needed an interpretation of uh, measurements, an optimization of the attempts. What, what it is that the AI is needed for? Um, it's really to better understand the quality of the resource in the ground and the producibility. Basically, if I go into this formation and, and drill exactly here, likely what will my production be? And therefore, what does that tell me in terms of the economics of the project? Uh, what's my payback? What's my ROI? Um, so that's one of the key things. The next is, um, okay, what's the most effective way to design my wellbore to be drilled? And then what's the most effective way for me to then optimize my frack design for how I stimulate that formation with the hydraulic fracturing process? Uh, not all uh, frack jobs are created equal. There's a lot of complex engineering that goes into how do you design, where do you fracture uh, uh, deep in the ground, 30, 40 different fractures, where do I place those fractures, uh, and what kind of fluids do I use to stimulate them, what kind of pressures do I use to stimulate them. There's a lot of good work going on from a couple of companies who have built uh, tools which use some really uh, sophisticated AI techniques to better optimize frack design not simply to optimize the technical parameters, but also to optimize the ultimate economic outcomes. And so that's an area where, where AI is doing some very important things. Um, and then next is in the production phase. And that's where I've been, I spent a lot of time more recently uh, running a company called Ambient. And we are focused exclusively on the production phase of oil and gas. And let me just paint a picture really quickly of what this operation looks like. It'll be easier for me to, to then explain where can AI help change the game. 
So in the production phase, you've got hundreds, if not thousands of distributed wells, oftentimes across a, you know, a 50 mile, 100 mile area. And you have these wells typically producing with a piece of production equipment on the well, which is either some form of a pump or some form of a gas injection system. But you've got a well bore given to you by your drilling and completion people that the production people are then say, okay, your job now is to manage and produce this thing as optimally as possible with the least cost to support that production process with the maximum production output. They pick the best system for the well, and then they have oftentimes some data flowing on the key pieces of equipment to understand how are these systems running, how are they performing, and they'll have, you know, usually a real-time data platform in the form of SCADA to kind of see some basic parameters day to day, but the quality of that data is usually pretty weak and the quality of optimization that you can do on how is that production system producing the well bore that I'm given uh, as optimally as possible, whereby I minimize the cost input using the form of, of electricity or some energy to produce that system to get the maximum production output. And that's mostly a pretty rote engineering and optimization task where what you should be doing is every day you should be tweaking that valve a little bit more to get the system, because these are very dynamic wells and dynamic systems, that they change the, the, the hydrocarbon product flowing changes day in, day out, which has an impact on how the system should run, and the volumes change day in, day out. They're very noisy systems where volumes are going up and down every day. It's not just a stable, slow and steady system, particularly in this new horizontal world the wells produce in a much more dynamic and sometimes unpredictable ways, which lead to failures on the surface equipment. Um, and then, you know, things get stopped up and clogged up down hole. And so the act of optimizing the well today is a very manual process with engineers or well-trained optimization people who have to constantly look at data on a weekly basis and try to kind of quickly eyeball the data and figure out, Hey, should I make a set point change? a change to my control system to how fast or how slow the system is running so I uh, get the maximum output at the minimum cost input. And that's where we were focused with Ambient, bringing AI to bear to really take the human out of the loop and use AI to better understand what's going on down hole and then using that to then combine the physics and the AI techniques to totally autonomously manage and optimize the control set points on those systems so that you are optimizing that equation of maximum production output with minimum energy input. I remember uh, there was this advertising of a um, plumber basically that was trying to was in a room with a lot of oils that come out and he was trying to put the tap for every all and the water is coming out from everywhere. So basically the job here of AI is there are all these many taps all over the places and there are the pumps that are also pumping the oil out and there are all these taps. So the, the job of AI is to regulate the taps uh, continuously, dynamically, because this is a very dynamic system and regulate also those pumps, how much they're going because otherwise they get, um, I mean, the, if they operate out of certain conditions, they're going to get damaged eventually over time and the, and the lifetime diminishes and therefore the cost of operating the plant increases. So let's look at it from a, a data science viewpoint. This is a situation where we have lots of variables that change in time quite frequently and uh, it's difficult for a single human being to get the full picture. So this is a typical situation where AI makes sense uh, to be used because there are lots of variable data and, and to get the full picture and, and making decisions for a human being is gonna be difficult.